You ever come across a product that is exceptionally well priced and it's also actually a really good product? It's too good to be true, but that product actually came to me and we need to talk about that. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Francisco and welcome to GNR. This is the Amcrest AM 430 BPS USB condenser microphone package because it's not just a microphone that you get if you were to purchase this. It is a package. You get the microphone, a windscreen, a pop filter, the shock mount, and a boom arm. All five of those items for $54.99. Now that is a deal of the century. And I've come across microphones that are that cheap and cheaper, and they sound absolutely horrible. This thing sounds really damn good for its price. I think it even rivals some of the more expensive competition out there. Now, if you want to get into the nitty gritty, which we can and compare it, we might find some differences in quality here and there, but at the end of the day so far, just from my initial testing, this actually sounds really damn good considering it is only $55. But before we get into all those details, let's go ahead and take a look at the build of the microphone. So the Amcrest AM430 BPS condenser microphone, this guy right here, is tiny. This is probably about maybe, I don't know, four and a half to five and a half inches. And it's cylindrical in shape, very small, very thin. And we have a full metal grill, a full metal body, pretty tough over here, nothing too wild. There's hardly any give on the grill. The only thing that I believe is not metal is this guy down here, the housing for the USB port right here, which uses this very old school USB port that you've, or at least I've traditionally seen on printers in the past, and the blue snowball microphone uses the same exact port or used the same exact port. But this thing has very, very solid bill. It is aesthetically pleasing. It is a very, it's a pretty microphone. It's not ugly at the very least. And if you have it on your camera for your streams or for your videos, you don't have an ugly microphone in frame. So you ain't got to worry about that. The shock mount that comes included with it is a metal shock mount. There's no plastic pieces on it whatsoever except for the mounting device here that mounts onto the boom arm that they have been so kind to provide in this package as well. You also get this windscreen and a pop filter for $55, dude. This Elgato Wave 3 microphone and the shock mount and the pop filter were at least 200 plus dollars. All of this is 55. Okay, and now to inevitably compare the Amcrest AM430 BPS to the Elgato Wave 3 microphone, we're gonna go ahead and run it through a series of plosive tests. And you'll also use this opportunity to just basically hear the differences between one microphone and the other. So without further ado, let's go. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. I don't think I've ever said it that fast. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. And now the same plosives on the Elgato Wave 3. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. 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 All right, now I want you to try and decide and figure out which microphone I'm using and which one sounds the best to you. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know and you are the one who'll decide where to go. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know and you are the one who'll decide where to go. Okay, and that brings us to our off-axis rejection test. So this is a USB condenser cardioid pattern microphone, meaning it is a side address microphone and it should technically for the most part, only capture sound from in front of the microphone right here. But if I start turning it around, how much sound are you gonna be able to hear and what's the coloration gonna be like? Or maybe if I decide to some crazy reason to start speaking to the back of the microphone because maybe you just don't know that where the logo is on the microphone is where the front of the capsule is located. But that's okay, I forgive you because instead you decide to speak to this side and you still haven't figured out that it's actually supposed to be the other side over here that you're supposed to be speaking into like so. And for all my fellow PC gamers out there, I'm gonna also go ahead and run you through a test of what the microphone does in terms of picking up the clicky, clickety, click clacks from your mechanical keyboards and or the impacts of your hands on the desk with the boom arm in place. You know, sometimes you just get mad and you gotta slam your fist on the table because somebody just headshot you from like across the map and it's obviously a hacker on the other side of the map who's playing from God knows where with like unfair cheats and shit like that that's happened to me in PUBG so many times so that's why I stopped playing but now it's gone for you to play I'm going to try it again and give it another chance now the keyboard you know I'm over here sitting typing away I can type about a thousand words a second I mean it's no big deal you know or maybe obviously in a more realistic sense I'm a you know PC gamer so I'm only going to be really using the WSAD keys I mean that's about it really right I mean I play God of War on controller not on keyboard and mouse I'm not that cool like y'all are all right, jokes aside, 
Uh, I don't know why I took a nap and I, I felt I woke up very aggressive and chose violence right now and a lot of sarcasm, but here's the real deal, okay? If I had no microphone and I'm a starting content creator, I'm a starting streamer, I'm a starting YouTuber, I'm about to get started, I need to get a microphone for my setup, and somebody told me about this microphone and I watched this review because you love watching my content and you just subscribed because you haven't subscribed before and you don't want to disappoint me. 55 bucks gets you a boom arm, a shock mount, a windscreen, a pop filter, the microphone itself. There is no need for me to explain how incredible of a deal that is. Here's where things are incredibly surprising though. Amcrest, from what I've seen, is traditionally involved in the security industry. Uh, camera, security cameras, they've even done, dabbled into webcams, and now this microphone. So this isn't a player in the microphone world, unless I'm wrong, that has put out a history of products in the microphone world for content creators such as myself. I think this is their first foray into it, and this is really, really good. If I had to nitpick at one thing about this microphone is that there is no onboard gain control, but you can circumvent that by lowering the volume internally through your PC system itself and calling it a day, and that's a wrap. So it's not really that big of a deal, but it would have been nice to have gain control on the actual microphone. On the flip side of that, I do appreciate that it doesn't have an obnoxious knob sticking out the sides like the Blue Yetis do because I think it kind of looks ugly, but that's just me. Without the pop filter, without the windscreen, it is incredibly sensitive to plosives, as you can probably tell right now, right? P With the windscreen and the pop filter and some proper mic technique, you can actually circumvent the plosives issue quite a bit and basically eliminate it altogether. The only advantage that I see that my Elgato Wave 3 has over this microphone is that the Elgato Wave 3 is powered by the Wavelink software and it is now able to use VST plugins. So I'm able to equalize it, compress it, and noise gate it. I can do that with the Amcrest microphone, but because I also haven't tried to do it through Wavelink for this microphone, I have to do it in post-processing when I edit my videos in DaVinci Resolve, but it's not that big of a deal. At the very end of the day, and I'm gonna put a link at the bottom and I hope to God Amcrest appreciates this review and likes it because they sent it to me. By the way, I didn't say that. They contacted me via email, offered me their product for free to review for them. I said, absolutely, hell yes, I will. This is the one of the best, cheaper microphones I have ever touched or used in my entire life. It, it has great quality, y'all, and I cannot stress that enough. Never mind the fact that it comes with all these awesome accessories that you would have to pay some extra money for. I mean, if you want to go on the cheap end of things, 20 bucks for a boom arm, 10 bucks for a windscreen, and another 20 bucks for like a shock mount, right? You're talking about $50 right there. This could have easily been priced at about $100, and it still would have been a reasonable deal. They could sell the microphone by itself for $50, and it would still be a great buy. The fact that it comes with all these accessories included at $55 is an absolute steal. And if you're somebody looking for a budget entry level microphone, you don't want to go out there and splurge on an audio interface and XLR this and dynamic that and condenser this. I have absolutely no problem recommending the Amcrest AM430 BPS USB condenser microphone because at the price, it gives incredible value proposition. Absolutely incredible. I am literally floored by how amazing this microphone sounds. So once again, Link's going to be in the description below. If you want to pick it up, go ahead and pick it up. It's not an affiliate link. I don't get anything for it, but I think we can send a great message to Amcrest to continue working on products like this because I have now a whole lot of faith in what they do just off of this one product alone. I hope you found the review helpful. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Share it with people that you know. And in the meantime, be good to yourselves. Be good to one another. Peace out.